frightening and filthy rescue on Long Island. A woman suddenly falls into a cesspool. Her husband realized he hadn't seen his wife for two hours, and then he heard screams. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is in North Babylon. What are your emotions right now? I just want a home. 83-year-old Mike Biancardi reliving the near disaster when his bucolic North Babylon backyard nearly swallowed his 77-year-old wife. As I'm walking towards the back, I hear a yell, Mike, Mike, I'm in the hole. He peered over the edge of the collapsed cesspool, and there she was, his wife of 30 years, Joan Sparacino, hanging onto the edges below for dear life, sludge up to her chest. She was holding on. Uh, and I called uh, 911 says, I need the fire department. They were here immediately. Amid their backyard pond with fish and a refuge for turtles, dozens of rescuers were able to finally free Joan, stuck nearly three hours. I just seen her head and her shoulders holding onto the walls. That was it. The rest, she said she went down, her head was covered with everything. Falling in wastewater can create severe health consequences, bacteria, viruses, and parasites. She was rushed to the hospital. I was like in shock. Her family says Joan Sparacino has been admitted surgery for a broken leg and on two recent knee replacements. And she suffered a black eye when a brick fell on the side of her head when she was in the cesspool. Neighbors bringing support. I can't believe everybody who came around. Neighbors drove me to the hospital. Mike believes prayers were answered. Because she's so well loved. She's just someone special. Mike says he and Joan are immensely grateful to first responders and neighbors following the freak accident they will not soon forget. From North Babylon, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And the fire department says if the cesspool had not been cleaned two months ago, Joan Sparacino could possibly have drowned.